Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. We are holy, you are gracious, we bless you. Lift your hands inside and outside and let's bless his name. Jebra to kasuda balika faria katos. Jende brendo gas kalabratia da osikete. Jekete kos. Mande kata para katos azigadia na malato sevriash. Lige brains kata parianda gabros. Jekete kos kalabria da kata. La brianda sipe de kete bele Lord, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you for your faithfulness. We bless you for the testimonies. For your outreach hand in the midst of your people, we thank you. For blessings, for revelation, for confidence, for understanding, for the anointing, for the presence of the Holy Spirit, we thank you. Lega barato si adamala ko shabra dis kalabra dis ni. Ala brandi kaske British kalabro sala di hasaba dusi adabaku si. Bless you. You deserve my worship. You deserve my praise. You deserve my worship. You deserve my praise. You deserve my all. Lipa kasoda baruta sela bariondo skalabriasha. From everlasting to everlasting, we will praise you. I will praise you. You have proven yourself faithful again and again, and I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord to visit you tonight. Please, inside, outside, wherever you are, online, open your mouth and cry. Lord, I cry for revelation. I cry for revelation. Concentrate, lift your voice, and in desperation, cry. Jesus, we declare tonight that our hearts are open because we believe in your power to save, in your power to heal, your power to deliver your power to transform, your power to open up a new dimension. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We decree and declare tonight that it is an extraordinary meeting in your presence. We thank you for your power. We thank you for light, 
Thank you for illumination. Thank you for understanding. We receive the spirit of revelation. Grant us access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Lord, let there be a performance. Let there be a performance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Good evening, everybody. God bless you. Please be seated. Turn to someone by your left and right and um, appreciate them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's amazing. I kept thinking about the faithfulness of God. This is November and God has proven again that he's reliable. Hallelujah. That he can be trusted. If you can trust a man that is mundane and can change in a moment, I can like you today and hate you tomorrow. And if you ask me why, I will say it's my choice. Is that true? I can hate you tomorrow and like you the next tomorrow. When you put your arm, your strength on men, it is so unreliable. The best of any man can change overnight. I can promise to give you more and say I can't remember. And just because my memory failed me, you will be punished. But the Bible says this word has been tried seven times. Listen carefully. It's not just a book that makes people spiritual. It's more than that. This is a compendium of the mind of Christ. Listen carefully. The Bible is a compendium of the ways of God. This is the ancient secret of an unbeatable life the ancient secret behind strange results those who can be foolish enough foolish enough childlike enough brothers and sisters this is the book that turns a poor man into levels of stupendous wealth this is the book that turns a sinner and makes a man of God out of him. Listen to me. This is the book that turns a man who cannot pay a rent of 10,000 to now own an estate. This is a book that can make a confused young man not knowing what to do with his life to become one who will govern kings and nations. This book has led many. We are not the first to hold it. There are many ancient hands that held this book. They were stupid enough to read everything there. And they believed God. They believed him. That's the point. It's not just reading it. They saw it. And they believed. And God performed wonders in and through their life. Today we have come in the midst of history. We're not starting anything new. We just have followed them who through faith and patience. When they taught us, they taught us to trust the word. And so we believe the word. Listen, it may not yet look like everything is appearing, but let me tell you the truth. Your destiny is too small to make the word of God fail for the first time. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. God used this word to humble the pride of wicked kings who were, their confidence were built upon divinations that had been tried for a long time. Yes, the word of God brought them to their knees. If I trust any other thing in life and I do not trust the word of God, I'm a foolish man. Praise the Lord. This is the secret. I have a name that I call the Bible. I don't call it the Bible. It is my roadmap to accessing the mysteries of the kingdom. I study the Bible like an archaeologist, like someone who has lost a treasure and is looking for it. I keep saying it that the secret to the future is in the past. When you can go behind, the ancient part is not the part of a nomination. The ancient part is a part where you open. What did Jacob see? What did the psalmist see? And if the spirit of revelation opens your eyes to see it, ah, Brothers and sisters, you create your own reality and walk in it as if Satan does not exist. This is what makes those who don't understand these mysteries. They think that, you know, when men of God talk like this, they are arrogant. Your reality is based on what your eyes have seen. 
you must believe this your reality is based on what your eyes have seen it is important for you to understand please let me have your attention it is very important there is nothing that is built by magic there is nothing that is built by gimmicks this is it your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever see hmm. your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise I will sing I will sing of the wonders of your word I will sing out for joy I will sing of the wonders of your word and I will forever sing I will sing I will sing of the wonders of your work, I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of In all you're getting, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding, it is established. Join, Join Apostle Joshua Selman of Eternity Network, Network International as he takes you on a journey into the wisdom of God's Word. It's intimacy. It's partnership. It's fellowship. This is Koinonia. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's lift our hands and bless his name. Jesus. We exalt you. You are mighty. You are holy. You are gracious. We bless you. Lift your hands inside and outside and let's bless his name. Jebra to kasuda balika fariakatos. Jende brendo gas kalabrati ada osikete. Jekete kosi. Mande kata parakato zazigadia namalato sevriash. Lige brains kata parianda gabros. Jekete koska labria da kata labrianda sibre de gede bele de bush. Lord, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you for your faithfulness. We bless you for the testimonies. For your outreach charm in the midst of your people, we thank you. For blessings, for revelation for confidence, for understanding, for the anointing, for the presence of the Holy Spirit. We thank you. Bless you. You deserve my worship. You deserve my praise. You deserve my worship. You deserve my praise. You deserve my all. Lipa kasoda baruta sela bariondos kalabriasha. From everlasting to everlasting, we will praise you. I will praise you. You have proven yourself faithful again and again, and I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord to visit you tonight. Please, inside, outside, wherever you are, online, open your mouth and cry. Lord, I cry for revelation. I cry for revelation. Concentrate, lift your voice, and in desperation, cry. Oh, 
upon the Lord Who is worthy to be praised I will call upon the Lord Who is worthy to be praised Magnify the Lord Who is worthy to be praised So shall I be saved from my enemy Sing it to him Jesus, we declare tonight that our hearts are open because we believe in your power to save, in your power to heal, your power to deliver your power to transform, your power to open up a new dimension. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We decree and declare tonight that it is an extraordinary meeting in your presence. We thank you for your power. We thank you for light. Thank you for illumination. Thank you for understanding. We receive the spirit of revelation. Grant us access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Lord, let there be a performance. Let there be a performance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Good evening, everybody. God bless you. Please be seated. Turn to someone by your left and right and um, appreciate them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's amazing I kept thinking about the faithfulness of God this is November and God has proven again that he's reliable hallelujah that he can be trusted if you can trust a man that is mundane and can change in a moment I can like you today and hate you tomorrow and if you ask me why, I will say it's my choice. Is that true? I can hate you tomorrow and like you the next tomorrow. When you put your arm, your strength on men, it is so unreliable. The best of any man can change overnight. I can promise to give you more and say I can't remember. And just because my memory failed me, you will be punished. But the Bible says this word has been tried seven times. Listen carefully. It's not just a book that makes people spiritual. It's more than that. This is a compendium of the mind of Christ. Listen carefully. The Bible is a compendium of the ways of God. This is the ancient secret of an unbeatable life. The ancient secret behind strange results. Those who can be foolish enough, foolish enough, childlike enough, Brothers and sisters, this is the book that turns a poor man into levels of stupendous wealth. This is the book that turns a sinner and makes he a man of God out of him. Listen to me. This is the book that turns a man who cannot pay a rent of 10,000 to now own an estate. This is a book that can make a confused young man not knowing what to do with his life to become one who will govern kings and nations. This book has led many. We are not the first to hold it. There are many ancient hands that held this book. They were stupid enough to read everything there and they believed God. They believed him. That's the point. It's not just reading it. They saw it and they believed. 
and God performed wonders in and through their life. Today we have come in the midst of history. We are not starting anything new. We just have followed them who through faith and patience. When they taught us, they taught us to trust the word. And so we believe the word. Listen, it may not yet look like everything is appearing. But let me tell you the truth. Your destiny is too small to make the word of God fail for the first time. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. God used this word to humble the pride of wicked kings who were, their confidence were built upon divinations that had been tried for a long time. Yet the word of God brought them to their knees. If I trust any other thing in life and I do not trust the word of God, I'm a foolish man. Praise the Lord. This is the secret. I have a name that I call the Bible. I don't call it the Bible. It is my road map to accessing the mysteries of the kingdom. I study the Bible like an archaeologist, like someone who has lost a treasure and is looking for it. I keep saying it that the secret to the future is in the past. When you can go behind, the ancient part is not the part of a nomination. The ancient part is a part where you open. What did Jacob see? What did the psalmist see? And if the spirit of revelation opens your eyes to see it, ah, brothers and sisters, you create your own reality and walk in it as if Satan does not exist. This is what makes those who don't understand these mysteries. They think that, you know, when men of God talk like this, they are arrogant. Your reality is based on what your eyes have seen. You must believe this. Your reality is based on what your eyes have seen. It is important for you to understand. Please let me have your attention. It is very important. There is nothing that is built by magic. There is nothing that is built by gimmicks. This is it. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever see Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise. I will sing, I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word, and I will forever sing. I will sing, I will sing of the wonders of your word, I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your words, and I will forever sing your praise. Listen, if I ask you to stand up now and I tell you what is the basis of your confidence, somebody will say, My father is coming out for election, and some person in presidency promised him that this turn is his turn to eat. That is complete nonsense. It's human beings that vote somebody in and out and they can change their minds overnight. Another person will say his brother is the manager of XYZ and because he's sitting on money he will bless him. Hear what the Bible says. He says for by the arm of flesh. Did you hear that? By the arm of flesh shall no man prevail no man prevail you know I have become addicted to this book it's not because I'm a preacher Jesus gave a parable I did not understand for many years he said the kingdom 
is like a man who is looking for a treasure the treasure is missing and then he lights a candle and goes around the room the treasure is not the word the treasure is the result you are looking for but he tells you how to look for it you light the candle you carry an empty candle you you keep roaming around an empty candle is a bible you brought from zondavan and you drop that's an empty candle but when the illumination of the spirit is upon it you carry it and move around when you find it it comes life to you then you communicate a dimension of results that will dumbfound principalities and powers let me tell you don't ever doubt a man whose confidence is based on something he has caught in the world you will be angry forever you will dream forever anything that is not a derivative of the word i don't trust it because i don't have control over it the bible says he upholds all things that includes my destiny he upholds all things by the word of his power we need to be a confident people listen not just believers confident people a depth of conviction and persuasion that is brought about by this the illumination of the spirit upon this word so you search for it crime in scriptures is not just it's not the key to understand the word that's not just how it works many of us have memory of scripture which is not bad in itself except for the fact that it has no ability to empower you just like that it's like carrying granite seed and chucking it in your pocket do you have a harvest will it grow sir <clears throat> The word is the seed. That's what Jesus said. The soil is your heart. The rain is the Holy Spirit. You can plant a seed and dry season will kill it into nothing. The seed is not wrong, but the anointing. You see that? The rain that comes upon the seed. Brothers and sisters, please, I want you to pay attention. For every time God gives us the privilege to converge like this, it is not the advancement of a man's agenda. It is the progression of your accessing the mysteries that will cause you to command dominion. Let me tell you something. There is a dimension of light that we are going to project to the world that will dumbfound principalities and powers. Yes. A dimension of light. Young people will rise up with a level of strange prosperity that people will say, no, no, no. Are these guys scammers? Are they fraudsters? We say, no, we found an ancient secret that can allow men to be blessed and focus on their assignment. You see that? You will rise with a strange level of the anointing that will make even herbalists to wonder and say, I'm a herbalist, but this is strange. It will happen. I am an archaeologist. I search it. I don't read the Bible to finish it. I read the Bible to find what I'm looking for. And sometimes you can find one verse and stay there. That's where the goal is. So if you are all you are doing is just to finish, I read Psalms 5 today. You came close to the gold mine and carelessness took you away. And you go somewhere. It is scripture. But it's not the word of God. The word of God is that part of scripture that gives you life. <laughs> so many people brag religiously. I started studying the Bible by January. And now I'm in Revelation 22. Call the person and say, how many treasures did you find? Even one. One. The only thing they find is an accolade that I search the scripture. But someone will come with an honest heart and open one scripture. You heard what that gentleman said? He used the way, the truth, the life. Alone. Imagine what else we can find. I've shared with you my vision years ago when I was caught up in the spirit and I saw a big gate. And that gate was made of small, small doors. You know, they were opening and closing and light was emitting from every one of them. And then I kept looking and I noticed it was zoomed to me and I saw scripture written on every door. And the doors were opening and closing and I was asking the Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord said, every time you catch a revelation, 
the light component that is the performer of that revelation anything you claim you have caught and you cannot bring it to the scene is a lie you have not gotten it yet please pray and say lord by your mercy open my eyes today this kind of prayer you must add the mercy of god in it because what else will you say by what lord i cry by your mercy open my eyes to see you have spoken great things but until my eyes see it there is no possession it says as far as your eyes can see are we praying open my eyes show me where the anointing for the next level is open my eyes show me where the key to my lifting is open my eyes show me where the river is in the desert open my eyes oh god many people will be hearing many things but show me my own and the word of the lord came and the word of the lord came the word of the lord has always been around the word of the lord came let my word come The word of the Lord came. Hallelujah. Listen, let me teach you something about the mercy of God. Every time you want to access the spirit of revelation, ask the Lord to release it by his mercy. There is no known formula I know for receiving the spirit of revelation. It is by the mercy and the grace of God that the eyes of a man be open. In scripture, the eyes of a man was open when he said, Thou son of David, have... He didn't say, Thou son of David, don't pass me by. He would have remained there crying till Jesus. That was the last time Jesus would pass Jericho. But I saw a relationship between the mercy of God and the spirit of revelation. Is thou son of David, will I remain blind like this forever? Have he never said, I want to walk? The walking is a subset of the mercy when illumination come. Oh, I want to see, I want mm -mm. thou son of David, have mercy. It's a language God cannot pass by. No matter what you know to do at once, God hears mercy. He remembers the blood and he turns. What should I do for you? You didn't call me correctly. Oh, I hope you know. Yes, that's why I said mercy. I don't even know your name. I said son of David. Whether you are carpenter or Jesus, I added mercy to my confusion. Have mercy on me. That's how you can see someone will be bragging around. I went to theological school and teaching nonsense and jargons. And someone will sit down and say, Lord, I came from the village. There was no light in our community. But Lord, I know that I've been seeing myself in dreams, ministering and raising the, the dead and watches. Can you open my eyes by your mercy and the spirit of revelation comes? Boom. One scripture. He may not be able to quote everything. One scripture. And with that scripture, you will do exploits. I'd like you to prepare your spirit. Because what I want to share with you tonight will bless you in no small way. People come to the house of God for many years, Jimmy. And you find out that they are not growing. How do you grow? There are two indices for growth. It's no confusion. Number one is the degree to which you are conforming experientially to the image of Christ. Number two, your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. If you are not understanding the precepts of the kingdom, you are not growing, sir. Whether they ordain you pastor, apostle, deacon, once you are not accessing the mystery of the kingdom, you are not growing. It's as simple as that. Because that's how we reign in this kingdom. On the strength of mysteries. What do you know now that took away fear from you? The fear you had in January. What entered you that can give you confidence to look at it and say, no way, not again. If your fear of January is still your fear of today, you made the word of God unfruitful in your life. 
Someone entered this year wandering. And right now, the person is just laughing at the same situation. I say, Satan, no, no, no. That one, that was, that was last year's challenge. You won't talk that nonsense with me again. Because you know what to do. Not bold face for nothing. For Jesus himself knew what to do. My assignment in this ministry is that by the privilege of God's election and grace, I will continue to show you what to do. The result you desire versus the mystery that connects it. That's my assignment. To continue to show you that the kingdom is a compendium of possibilities. But accessing them are predicated upon your knowledge of the mystery allocated for that result. Not the mystery available. The mystery that is allocated. You want to be blessed. Anything in the Bible will not bless you anyway. You have to find the one that is allocated for you. You don't put rice in a pot and when it boils, you lift it up and see beans. You will see food, but not beans. If it's beans you want to cook, you better find out one, where to get beans, two, how to cook it, correct? So anything in the kingdom is not what you are looking for. There are people who are blessed financially, but this sickness will kill you. You go to the hospital and treat it to refuse to come. Brothers and sisters, there is an allocation you have to find out. There are pastors who are so anointed. They can raise the dead. But you, they will never have up to 30 members. There is a mystery that keeps men. People are not stupid to just come and sit down. Sit outside. Endure all kinds of things. No sir. My assignment. Is that by the agency of the spirit. That I communicate to you the mysteries. When you gather them together like this, it's like a chain that connects you and heaven. When you move in life, the moment a challenge comes, you smile because you understand the key to address it. Fear and ignorance and pain is a revelation of your bankruptcy of the understanding of the mystery that is tied to a result you are looking for. There are things I used to fear years ago. I don't fear them again. I didn't cast out the spirit of fear understanding took me out of that realm you see that yes so please i want us to focus when you see us cry for the spirit of understanding th this thing is not just uh, even this anointing because you see many people especially ministers this is what we are all looking for anointing anointing is not just a generic oil that comes on your head this anointing you see has dynamics it doesn't just work anyhow how many people are you going to lay hands on on your life won't it kill you? There is a system. There are many means of transportation. There is bicycle. There is jet. If you want to arrive Lagos with a bicycle, you may die before you arrive there. That's how the dispensing of the anointing is. You will meet people. There are Knowing the vehicle is not just enough. You must understand the system of helping it reach people. There's somebody seated outside. Another overflow. There's somebody online in another nation. How do you, if all you know is just to lay hands on people, how do you bless those who are far? Please pray before I start teaching one minute and say, Lord, change my level. Insist, please pray. Change my level. Paul said, I went up by revelation. Show me something. Lord, where I am is a revelation of my limited knowledge. I take responsibility and I admit, open my eyes. Satan can't be that powerful. There's something I am not seeing. Lord, I've been falling under the anointing, but that anointing has not healed one sick body. There is something I'm not getting. I have been sowing seeds, but a harvest has not been coming. What is blocking it? What more do I need to know? Hallelujah. Please sit down. <laughs> mm. 
The Bible says when you read Ephesians chapter 4 verse 18, it says having their understanding darkened. Paul is teaching here. And then he says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Ignorance alienates a man from the life of God. The experience of that Zoe life. Are we together now? That their understanding is darkened. That's the issue. Then he says that as a result of that darkened understanding, they are being alienated from the experience of the kingdom. So they may have semblance of what should be, but never enter into the experience of it. Most people are not in ignorance of what their life should be. They know what they should become, but the power to make it happen. That is a derivative of light. You know you should be more anointed than now. You know you should be more prosperous. But what is the limitation? It says, haven't their understanding darkened? And then alienated from the life of God on the strength of the ignorance that is in them. I came angry in my spirit, oh. We'll, be, we'll pray, I trust God for grace so that we'll finish fast and just have some few minutes to pray. First Peter 5.10 Just one scripture. There is a level of rest I began to perceive in my spirit that many of us were ordained by God to enter this year that we have not entered. And my assignment is to insist that these two months left, we must force something to happen. The Bible says, but the God of all grace, listen, who had called us into eternal glory by Jesus Christ, after you have suffered, the word suffered there is endured, endured with certain things a while, what will he do? make you perfect uh-huh establish you uh-huh strengthen you uh-huh set to you give you stability these four things must happen to someone's life between this november and december listen i really want you to believe me because believers are the ones who are possessors are we together it says after you have and you have put up with certain things for a while Put up with poverty for a while. Put up with pain for a while. Put up with disappointment. Listen, it can't be forever. No, sir. A book has many pages. When you stay on one page forever, it's a curse. After you have suffered a while. The Bible says weeping and just for a night. If you cry to the next morning, cry in the afternoon cry till another night that crying has violated god's ordinances he allows people to only weep in the night after you have suffered for a while make you perfect establish you establish you then he says strengthen you all kinds of might financial might intellectual might then he says set to you said to you you are unmovable you have gotten to a level where you are not afraid uh -uh. the lord declared that this is a year of triumph i believe this so when god gave me this scripture it entered my spirit and the lord began to communicate to me and say son you have not hit my expectation for the year this triumph there is there is something there is there is a dimension of testimony that is not yet rampant here and there like rain people are getting it but it is in a ministry of thousands of people if only four people testify as a man of god not failed four over thousands is zero round it up is zero so there is a dimension the services that remain for this year will be very strangely prophetic services i tell you there are services meant at pushing people to force the reality of this world because brothers and sisters God cannot lie God cannot lie God cannot lie God cannot lie so the Lord showed me this scripture and it really really blessed me tonight I'm going to teach very briefly on the mystery of divine intervention the mystery 
of divine intervention what is the spiritual secret behind calling god in the time of trouble and let him show up and bail you out what is the system in the kingdom that has been built where men when you need the help of god when your life is faced with an emergency and you need to call heaven brothers and sisters there are emergencies in our lives that require access to this system the mystery of divine intervention the bible is full of near near shame experiences where god got up showed up for individuals showed up for the nation of israel god turned the lives of people around overnight let me show you one scripture you will want to know second peter chapter 2 verse 9 learn this scripture add it to your spiritual arsenals you will need it i guarantee you second peter chapter 2 verse 9 i want us to run uh, tonight read it with me please one two read the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly from temptation or oppression or calamities and to reserve the unjust unto the day. The Lord knows how to exchange experiences that he looks as child and says for my name's sake, come promise. That he looks at this person who calls upon his name and watches that this guy is getting into trouble he says god knows how to exchange people and carry this person out and drop the wicked for the punishment that is allocated for the righteous is called intervention there is a system in god listen please there is a system in god where god can plug men out of the fire remember the story of the three hebrew boys the bible says they found the furnace seven times that those who threw them inside the furnace listen they threw them inside the furnace and the heat killed them and when four of them were inside the king was not a believer but the king had had strange encounters and he saw a face in that fire he had seen in his dream he said i i look and i see four people and the appearance of the fourth is like the son of god and the bible says they came out they could not even smell fire what of daniel that was thrown in the den of the lions because of his prayer life the bible says the lions were at peace with him and when he came out and they threw those other fellows the lions just devoured them brothers and sisters there is a mystery there is a hidden code of operation allocated to the saints in light to help them deliver them out of all the troubles and the vicissitudes that satan puts because you see your destiny is a function of many things and sadly it includes the lives of others and that also includes their carelessness there are times you will get into things you necessarily did not cause but you will suffer the consequence if you don't know how to exempt yourself this is like an extension of the mystery of exemption the mystery of divine intervention where men called upon god and god showed up and turned the lives of nations around turned the lives of individuals around there is a way you call upon god for your personal prayer life but brothers and sisters there is a way you call upon god to intervene on a matter that if he does not intervene sometimes it may be that you are finished There was a time death was killing people in israel killing people there was a way they called on god divine intervention is real all through scripture we see that god is able to arise psalms 102 verse 13 it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time in God's calendar, there is a time, oh, there is a time to favor Joshua Selman. There is a time to lift me. And you see, the Bible says in Amos chapter 3 verse 9, that God does not do anything but to reveal his secret to his servants, the prophets. So when God is about to do something in a territory, he captures his thoughts in words, in, in similitudes, in, in all kinds of expressions, communicates it to his servants to deliver to the people so that their faith will be connected to what he wants to do in the season. 
and God has declared that it's a season of triumph. I believe God. It's not just a cliche that a man of God comes to move ministry forward. No, sir. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time, the time to favor her, the time to lift her, the time to honor her, for God's sake, the time to wipe her tears, the time for Zion to say, I am also the bride of a good man. He says, the time has come. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Many people want intervention. Intervention is the supernatural is a supernatural visitation over a man's situation that brings a radical transformation. Supernatural visitation of God. Supernatural visitation of God. All of a sudden, God steps in overnight and changes a man's situation overnight. He says, have you heard this proverb that a city was born in one day? He said, but as soon as Zion travails, in one day she shall put forth a son. Why do we need divine intervention? Because of our imperfection as human beings. The first reason that necessitates divine intervention is that we are inaccurate as human beings. Our inaccuracy as human beings, inaccuracy of understanding and obeying the precepts of God will necessitate God to create that provision. Are we together? If a young man drinks and smokes and gets to a point where he now repents, when his liver is quarter to die, he has repented, but the liver is still going to kill him. That gentleman doesn't just need a healing, he needs a divine intervention. When somebody repents in the prison and is supposed to say 80 years and he went there at 40, you see that he's going to die in the prison, he needs divine intervention. He's born again, but he's in the prison. Our families are in desperate need for divine intervention. Is that true? Hmm. Father not working, mother not working, 13 children, 10 of them not working. All of them graduates. Hapa. There is need for a strange intervention. How about human agents? That will sit on your destiny and vow and say for as long as we are here. We fraternize with darkness to jeopardize your confidence about God. I wish there was no such reality. But brothers and sisters, the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the wickedness that lies in our world. I was talking with a young man on phone who sent me a text. I think they worship one kind of idol. And the father has been calling him. I should come back. There's something he's supposed to do. The guy said he's not coming back. After graduating from school, they are asking you to come. They will bath you, put something on your head like a cap, and one kind of ritual like this. After that, they will say you can go. The guy said he's not coming. And the man told him that that thing, whatever it is, will pursue him and look for him. His blood father, the boy was speaking to me. And I said, let me tell you, my brother, if you go there and carry yourself and go and sit down under that whatever it is and they bath you with the blood of an animal and do those rituals, uh-uh, God is able. Rather than wasting your time paying transport, use the money and buy a book that reveals a mystery that you, you keep the enemy at bay because what that shrine is trying to prevent him from will look for him if he doesn't have the mystery allocated. He can make bold face and say, I won't go. But you will soon find out that it will happen to him. First child, dull. Second child, very dull. Third child, very dull. And the person says, I'm brilliant. My wife is brilliant. And he sees that thing in a dream. He says, I, I told you. Ten years ago, you would have rescued your children. See, 
don't reject darkness without having the light component don't just say i reject darkness eh, every shine in my village god forbid it's a joke you must have the light component otherwise i tell you to hunt you and tear you into pieces there are forces of darkness we need divine intervention because of our inaccuracy we need divine intervention because listen the pace at which darkness attempts to destroy us versus our level of spiritual growth will require divine intervention at some point now look at me listen let me tell you something in the next 10 years there are things that i will know then that i don't know now but satan is plotting all kinds of schemes over my life based on the knowledge i need to know 10 years to come i need intervention by the mercy of god to give me victory before i enter that level of understanding if my victory is purely left to my level of understanding alone it means that i will be punished on many grounds before i come into that knowledge you need divine intervention is god speaking to someone here let me tell you this i am very outspoken about results i'm not a man of god that will lie to you and say results don't matter it's a lie it's a lie if results don't matter why do you go to work why do you wait for salary at the end of the month is that true results matter to god matter to the devil matters to everybody on earth whether we agree or not results are consolations to your christian experience whilst it is true that we do not serve god just for results but brothers and sisters let me tell you even jesus saw a fig tree that was receiving nourishment from the principle he programmed in the earth and was not yielding the result he caused it in annoyance so god wants us to bear fruit but there are keys that we must understand please look up there are many of us here and there are many of our family members here had they known that there is a mystery that controls divine intervention many tragedies we now weep over would not have happened listen carefully are we together now yes somebody looked at you and vowed and said pastor alpha i will destroy you we said no problem you wouldn't destroy me but you did not understand the component the revelation component and eventually it caught up with you i prayed for a lady she probably may be following now online married loved her husband all of a sudden the husband just changed and became a, a very very funny man doesn't even stay in the same room with her and all of that and she she could not take it again and she called me you know i prayed with that lady and just this morning she sent me a text she said she woke up in the morning and just saw her husband sitting by her bed something brought him listen listen this is what I, you see men are slaves to the mysteries that control them you can program things like a bomb in the spirit and just go and watch it the same way i can put a bomb and i program blow by eight o'clock and then i just move somewhere and i'm laughing at everybody around here because it must blow except another agency superimposes it this is how you can program results in the realm of the spirit and watch like a movie as they unfold in the earth realm using things you call circumstances coincidences but you know that they are intentional results that were programmed by mysteries this is how i want your life to be that you can sit down and program growth program speed program breakthrough and watch everything like a movie and day after day you watch someone get up and say sorry elijah i i hope this is a new keyboard i bought for you and you laugh something was programmed your house that has been 10 years refused to be completed you program something by understanding and someone comes to say ah, sam i don't know do you mind me complete this house and you will say yes because it was intentionally done you don't say i'm surprised you are coming i'm not surprised you were called that, are we together that's why when people die in the villages the harbalists don't cry have you ever seen them crying no something they programmed 
they program somebody from London and tell him where to come and die. When he dies, other people are crying at the guy says, well, it's just to let you know that we are not children. You can program things. From the foundations of the earth, some things were programmed. And the intelligence of the father, he watched everything unfold through redemption. No power could stop it. Satan tried. He entered. He went when Jesus was fasting. Now came and entered Peter. Now came and entered. When he entered Judas, I'm sure Satan thought he was smart. Paul was watching it like a movie and saying, yeah, yeah, had they known this? So this was the caricature that God was making out of Satan. He thought he was smart, but he was, God was using him as a slave. Because you see, when you kill a man, according to scripture, his blood will haunt you. So God made sure it was Satan that killed Jesus. Go and read your Bible. Blood is a mystery. It remains on the head of the killer forever. Paul was watching this. Whether he was in a hole, in a cave, in prison, I don't know. But Paul was saying, ah, ah. Satan, couldn't you see? Jesus casted you out of Peter and left you in Judas. You didn't ask why. You just continued until you became a fool. That's the reason why when we invoke the blood, something really happens. It happens to whoever was the killer. When Cain killed Abel, blood cried against him. Cried against him. <laughs> I need divine intervention. You need divine intervention. Samaria needed divine intervention. Please sit down. They got to a point, scripture says, come, that they got to a point where women can you imagine brothers and sisters that you get to a point where you are not just eating goats you are not just eating clothes women you have your child i'm telling you there is a strange grace this year for fruitfulness and miracles in this ministry we have seen very dramatic manifestations and and all of that there are mothers all around with their children moving right and center now imagine Pastor Alphas, that little baby. Imagine Annie holding this her child and saying, look, there is so much poverty. Pastor Alpha travels somewhere to go and look for food. And she liasses with a Jimmy's wife. Two of them, they carry Jael and carry David. And two of them stand and agree. And they say, we are eating Jael this night. You eat it. What sort of hunger makes you eat a whole human being? Now watch this. Then the Bible says they ate the first one. Then the next day, it was the turn to eat the other one. And the mother said, no. And the woman said, no, you ate my child. Listen, while that confusion was happening, the king started passing. And they went, they said, king, you can't leave us like this. And when all of that happened, the king said, look for Elisha for me. Look for Elisha for me because he had that Elijah program famine. He said, I'm sure Elisha has a hand in this trouble. Go and look for this. This, this guy was mentored by the troublemaker of Israel. Go and look for Elisha. Watch this. While all of this suffering was happening, the Bible says Elisha and the sons of the prophet were, he didn't say they were hungry. When he saw the king coming, he said, this son of a murderer wants to now come and kill me. Oh yeah, you push, you stop him. And because of that, it's okay now. It's called my attention. Let me casually do something about what is killing a nation. By this time, Kabakoto Sakataya. By this time, tomorrow. By this time, tomorrow. Listen, it didn't tell you how it will happen. If you understand the superiority of the realm of the spirit, you will never ask how results manifest. You see, let me tell you something. When people argue and say, how did this thing happen? They are not wise. The raw materials that create the earth are resident within the realm of the spirit. He said, by this time tomorrow, by this time, I'm hurrying up. I would have given you scriptures, but I really want us to pray. That by this time tomorrow, they call, uh, please help them.
this will cause this and that and then a foolish man like many doubters that insult men of God he said what are you saying I, I mean I'm the minister of this and that I read this and that even if the windows AJ. he knew that much that heaven had a window with what did they build the window he never asked if God will open the window will these things be and the prophet said to me you will see it all but they will kill you in front of that breakthrough then look at how the miracle happened the prophecy had been programmed in the spirit now it is up to the word this is where the wisdom of God starts he starts searching for scenarios in the earth that can bring what is in the spirit to manifest are you seeing how prophecy comes to pass watch this look at this let me teach you something watch this look at me and learn if I prophesy to you a Mecca and say by tomorrow if it is really by the spirit I say by tomorrow money is coming to your account I have placed that word in the spirit hold on the word manifests by the wisdom of the spirit let me tell you what the wisdom of the spirit is it will start searching the earth to look for the scenario on earth that is capable of bringing that word down then connect it to the individual listen the wisdom of God will move to a rich man. If it's not open, it will move to somebody who God had instructed to so If it will keep moving like that, that's how the anointing got to Mary to be the mother of Jesus. The Bible never said the name of the mother of Jesus will be Mary. The prophecy started searching for a virgin. When he found one and she said, I'm available, he brought her out. Listen, there are too many activities on earth that can mirror what is happening in the heavens for God to be bankrupt in terms of manifestation. When God says, I want to bless you, he is already speaking to millions of people to sow. It's just that he has not told them who to sow. The wisdom of God can just connect one of them. You see how prophecy works. I'm helping your faith so that when God says I will do this you now sit with your limited mind and say I only know uncle A and B and I already know a hey, promise you will never see me and God is saying no we are talking about the wisdom of the creator look at what happened four lepers everybody say four lepers four lepers were sitting quietly and the wisdom of God the spirit of wisdom because the word of God must come to pass the man of God had declared it and the, the anointing came on the lepers. They thought they were just tired, but they didn't know that at that point they were under the influence of a man of God. And the word started programming that result. They say, why sit here till we die? Even that talk was by the spirit. They thought they were gisting. And they said, look, let's just get up and go to the camp of our enemies and tell them, kill us, but let's eat first. The Bible says the moment they began to go, God changed their people. They began to hear the sounds of chariots. And all of, listen, were they not warriors? Is it not fight they fought to get those things? Couldn't they fight again? When God wants to bless you, he will move your enemy in a way that you will not even know how things happen. I know I should not graduate but there is a mystery that can be programmed a man is watching your result 37 over 50 you need 50 something comes on him and he right and he does not even know listen listen people some people hear the testimony of some of our some of the people who wrote jam here that jam changes from 100 and something to two and you hear them talking nonsense talking stupid things and saying how can it happen and i said look, look at this foolishness how does a boil come out of your stomach where did the mass accumulate from that projected out did any part of your body reduce for it to come out did he ask where it came from then when it disappears you say where did it go to you see how we think Son of man, can these bones live again? Immediately, oh, not after 10 years, not gradually. Can these bones live again? 
He said, God, I've seen many miracles, but I've not seen this type. That a dry bone is not like a dead human being. I believe in raising the dead, but dry bones. And he said, okay, I want to show you something. That when I show up, I compress time and make things happen. And he said, prophesy. Prophesy. And things began to shift. Listen, it is too late when mysteries have been programmed in the spirit. Take it from me. The moment a man programs something in the spirit, you better find a way of countering it in the spirit. Otherwise, it must manifest. <laughs> this is what Habalists do. They conjure things. They conjure spirit. And then they tell the person, go, it is done. At the point they said, go, it is done. He didn't feel anything. Oh. Go. We shall be, we put your husband in a bottle and you saw it. Go, it is done. The woman will go home and still see her arrogant husband come back and she'll be laughing. You're already in a bottle. Two days later, physical things start happening in the earth to force him to confirm to what has been programmed. After one week, the man becomes a toy to her because the realm of the spirit must. So you look at a woman who is barren. It may look like you just touched her stomach, but it's more than that. Mysteries were programmed in the spirit. He said, how shall these things be seen that I know not a man? He says, the power of the highest. Brothers and sisters, I came to prophesy to someone. It will be a quick walk. Oh. It will be a quick walk. It will be a quick walk. I tell you, except it's not the God. I told you that the remaining services, don't miss them. They will be, help them please. They will be strongly prophetic services. Strongly prophetic services. It will be a quick walk. There is a mystery that can push men. False prophecy, push men. It is possible. That in one day, something can happen to you and you will turn and say god i'm sorry for doubting you when it was time for the animals to enter the ark of noah he didn't call one of them something was manipulated in the spirit all the animals started lining up regardless of their hostilities they lined up and came quietly listen let me tell you something the day i land the vanity of the physical realm compared to the spiritual realm i stopped wasting my time about physical things Tr trust me i really mean it i saw how helpless the physical realm is that a body without a spirit is dead i stopped wasting my time those who do business do it in the spirit realm they program things in the spirit realm and just watch like strangers how things manifest you program favor and you come and see strangers bringing blessings and people say how is it happening you see what is happening in this ministry submit to you it was programmed it's not a coincidence something took you from where you were and brought you here it's not just that you like a man no it's a mystery that is the same thing that will put a baby in the barren womb it's not when a man meets his wife that she gets pregnant to a man meets his wife to give the child physical form do you believe what I'm saying because let me tell you something one of the things we are going to do tonight is to change some things there are results that are wrong something programmed it it may be our ignorance it may be something i bring you a message of hope the realm of the spirit is still there that means there is still an ability to access it please sit down i'm just trying to compose myself my spirit is boiling this night listen listen I have experimented this thing too many times too many times too many times you can program favor you can program breakthrough 
listen you can program judgment on the wicked you can program speed the word of god is an instrument of creation you can create realities that were not there when you hear people testify it's not like the testimony was waiting somewhere a word created it when you are programming mysteries you don't attach a face to it the wisdom of god will create the actors of that mystery in the physical realm you don't say god bless me through my uncle uh -uh. i have accessed the principles that brings a blessing it is god that will start sourcing for the men that will act the movie that will bring your breakthrough he can use a donkey he can use stone it doesn't matter the most important thing is that let it come Are we together? Yes. Ah, I tell you, believe me, brothers and sisters, when I tell you there are more angels on this ground than people sitting. There are more angels, angelic presence. I don't know if it's because of what I'm teaching tonight, but I prayed for strange intervention, angelic interventions, and the Lord is just opening my eyes, and I'm seeing that there are numerous angels talons of angels every time god opens do you know why when i speak like this people start manifesting under the anointing because you see when you are open to the realm of the spirit portal is created immediately do you understand and when that portal is created there must be an effect remember when paul saul now saw jesus those there did not see but there was an effect from the realm of the spirit i'm explaining it because it's nothing strange but i stand and i see angels inside outside like this i'm even on that fence you are seeing i'm seeing all kinds of things happening and this is by the power of the spirit i believe that not all the angels are the same they are according to their ranking and their functions according to what kind of intervention must manifest because see our challenges are not the same i know some of you may not have issues but let me tell you there are people the issues you have require recovery restoration judgment on somebody so there are angels that are allocated for that kind of thing was it not an angel that used hailstone and killed hundreds of thousands of people overnight please help them Jepreketo sadabala ko sambriata kata jegedeketo ko subriata jebres kata barota sabala ko leketa ko sabarote sabas enda kato kata bakata lekato sedeketi jiketo skiba takaria mande katos I release angels strange ministry of intervention brakoto soto keta barata zegete kata by the authority of the most high angelic interventions over lives and families it must end tonight in the name of jesus is a year of triumph it must end tonight Thou shall arise, thou shall arise, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. Thou shall arise. God is arising over a family. God is arising over a family. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. You see, Ba, when you come before God's presence, the Bible tells us that upon Mount Zion, many things happen. 
the innumerable company of angels these things are not fables the bible is not a book for religious people it is life it is true it is our own belief that has made it look like a storybook that you come to his presence and there is a strange intervention i say it again in the name of jesus as i begin to teach i've not finished but in jesus name i release the ministry of angels i release the ministry of angels that whilst the teaching is going on let intervention start in the name of jesus christ strange interventions strange interventions please sit down if you can please help those outside very quickly i will give us four keys let's use 10 minutes sorry i will not be explaining it in depth i want us to pray i want us to pray i want us to pray i feel the spirit of prayer here there are four keys to provoking divine intervention every time you are in a situation where you need the help of heaven urgently do these four things and you will change the tides in a way that will surprise you listen brothers and sisters as you learn these mysteries please use them don't be too big to use them be childlike and apply them you will be surprised these are not cunningly divine fables these are things that i do myself they are not necessarily things i'm just telling you just for for you know just the sake of it the first thing to do when you are in need of strange intervention is engage in the ministry of prayer number one please quickly prayer i'll give you two scriptures and then we'll, we'll be able to look at two write it down please acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11 talks about peter don't don't project it i just want to hurry up in acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11 the bible tells us how that james was caught by herod he was beheaded and when it pleased the jews he now caught peter and locked him and then the bible says the brethren began to pray whilst they began to pray an angel came into the prison brought peter out peter even thought he was having a vision until he took him out and then peter was free we see that prayer was part of the instruments that were used was used to bring strange and divine intervention Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11. Please write this down. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to 34. It's a long reading. Don't project it. Just write it down. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to 34. This was um, a scenario where Paul casted out the demon from the lady that was using divination to prophesy. And then the people got angry and they mobbed them, you know. And then the Bible says that they chained them and they were kept under the custody of a jailer. Then the Bible says Paul and Silas prayed and they sang. And the Bible says everyone in the prison heard them. All of a sudden there was an earthquake. And then the Bible says the things broke and all doors opened. I like that. All doors. It didn't say some doors. When the chain broke, all doors. The doors of the prison of other people connected to them also opened. All doors opened. Prayer can open doors. James chapter 5 verse 13. Maybe you can project that. He said, is any of you afflicted? Let him pray. Prayer is the... Re biblical recommendation for affliction if any of you afflicted he said let him pray so whenever you are afflicted the key is to pray you may not know what to do i'm teaching you what to do now but regardless of what the situation is pray especially engaging in the spirit the most the most sound way to engage warfare prayers especially is to pray in the spirit first as you pray in the spirit the holy spirit begins to construct the scriptures in your mind you will not utter them just as words you will utter them as prophecies that's what we leave to bring the result so the first key is not just to start talking uh, you take out time and pray in the spirit that's why it is important to be filled with the holy ghost with a clear evidence of praying in tongues it's not a phenomenon for pentecostals there is a dimension of victory you will never be able to command 
Are we blessed? Is any among you afflicted? Has any of you received a bad report? Has any of you been told that you have so, so, so time to live? Has any strange spirit appeared to anybody and said you will not see Christmas? So when others are rejoicing, don't join them. The key is not to get up and cry. Has any stranger come to you while you sleep and try to molest you? And you just got up and said, this thing has come again. No, sir. Has the door for close towards you? So the people who used to help you suddenly have changed. The people who used to like you suddenly have changed. The doors that used to bring you blessings have changed. Something is suddenly happening to your spiritual life. Prayer zero. Word life zero. You need an intervention. Prayer. The scripture I want us to read now is Psalms 18. Never forget this scripture. It's one of the arsenals that I have for my personal... Um, it's a scripture that has blessed me. I have prayed this scripture. If, if this scripture was a shook, by now I would have, maybe the soul would have eaten into pieces. I'm giving you a piece of my secret place. Psalm 18. Don't ever forget that scripture. Don't ever forget it for as long as you live. If you are a leader going far, this is a chief tool that you need. We are going to read from verse 1 to 6. Then I'll pick for you the verses we're reading. It's a long verse. Ready? Please give it to us. One to six. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Listen. My God, my strength in whom I will trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord. I will do what? call upon the Lord in prayer who is worthy to be praised so by calling upon him shall I be saved from my enemies verse 4 the sorrows of death compass me this is a man in trouble and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid the sorrows of hell compass me about the snares of death prevented me in my distress hallelujah I didn't discuss it with people who cannot help me. I called upon the Lord and cried upon unto my God. He heard my voice from out of his temple. And my cry came before him. Even to where? Even to his ears. There is a kind of cry that enters the ears of the mighty God. Let's jump to verse 14. Then to 17. Then 40 to 45. It's a quick reading. Verse 14. Yeah, he sent out his arrows. God has arrows. So, hey, look up. I learned this. I was checking arrows. You know, arrows that fly by day. And then I found out that it's not only the devil. God, the Bible says, yeah, this is him intervening for me. These are part of the forces from his cabinet of judgment that he can release. He says he sent out his arrows and scattered them. And he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. 17. Please give us 17. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. Verse 40. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemy that I may destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. 42. We are really reading to 48. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind and did cast them out of the dirt in their streets. 43. Oh dear, media. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of my people, and thou hast made me the head of the hidden. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Pastor, you need this for your ministry. Oh. When you open a branch in a locality that you don't know, there are people who need to come and as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves to me. 45. 
verse 45 the stranger shall shake, fade away and be afraid out of their close places now 47 to 48 is a scripture i don't want you to ever forget ready go ahead give us well go to 47 go to 47 it is god that avenged me and subdued the people under me who did it who did it he says it is god that avenged me and subdued the people under me 48 he delivered me from my enemies yea thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me thou hast delivered me from the violent man divine intervention as a man of god there are wicked forces day and night to destroy you as a leader there are wicked forces but when you catch this and catch the revelation you will walk through the valley of the shadow of death and the lord will be with you mysteriously you will not travel and sit down and be shaking will a car jam me will it break my leg will it break my head no sir rest and quietness on the strength of scripture everybody say prayer we need to learn how to call upon the Lord. Listen, do you know most people don't know how to call upon the Lord. They know how to lament. Hey, oh, you are not calling upon the Lord. You are shouting a lamentation, a, a strategy for lamentation that you inherited. He said unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul? Oh my God, let me not be ashamed though. Let not my enemies triumph over me. There is a way you can pray with God. Sometimes like Anna, you can't even shout. It's not something, you, you just lie down and say, Oh God, oh God, deliver me from the shame of the wicked. There are enemies that are waiting to see you fail so that it will be their prophecy fulfilled. Lord, confound their, their counsel. And God will say, it got to my ear. I had it. I'm on my way coming. Prayer. number two the second key when you want to activate the mystery of divine intervention is to engage praise with understanding praise 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 as an instrument of warfare and praise as an instrument of faith praise as an instrument of warfare but that you are blessing him in advance listen this revelation is fast becoming a national anthem in the body of christ people are suddenly coming to the realization that praise can work wonders you know people don't know why the presence of god is still mighty in africa is because africa is a praising continent yes yes sir yes sir they laugh at us and think that when we are dancing is nonsense praise is a mystery you want to turn around your situation no matter what you do if you have not praised there is no lord believe me lord give us understanding psalm 22 verse 3 it says thou art holy thou that inhabitest the praise of zion god makes the praise of men his habitation but thou art holy O thou that inhabitest the praises of joshua selman listen i've taught us how to praise you don't praise god without dancing that that is nonsense you are you are singing a national anthem it's when you are reciting national anthem that you stand and put your hand on your chest moving your body is not a sign of it's not you are not you have problems you can cry but still praise are we together is this is a it's a powerful mystery i want you to learn our father bishop david Oedeko, when he almost had a few weeks ago he almost had a plane crash that would have taken his life as soon as that happened they declared praise i said oh dear spiritual intelligence let me tell you what other people would have done they would have organized a cocktail party and said you know we and the devil, the devil said that's i'm coming back praise praise is one of the most powerful ways to disgrace the devil because you see let me tell you one of 
depression is the absence of laughter and joy satan uses when people are about to die there are few people who die smiling most people are depressed then they keep quiet he says that the joy of the lord shall be your strength so when there is no joy your spirit becomes broken and the bible says a broken spirit dryeth the bones you don't praise god when things are going well you praise god to make them go well listen you don't praise god when when things are going well and you praise god it's called thanksgiving thanksgiving is the dance you give and the testimony you give when things have manifested but before they manifested it's called perfected praise praise with understanding lord you are so good you are worthy of all my praise lord you are so good you are exalted as the lord most high hold on listen let me tell you what satan will tell you the moment you sing that he will tell you is it not your sister that just died is it not five carryovers we are seeing or god did they not just sack you ah the gentleman that has been promising to marry you is it not by 8 a.m this morning he says he's not doing again the devil brings it because he knows you see satan knows that we function in the realm of the flesh the senses are we together now so he brings things that resonate with your senses when you see them you are now depressed but that's the time anytime you are praising god satan says why are you praising him say no reason i'm praising him to create my testimony you see that listen corporate dancing and praising is good but you must learn to do this thing alone if it means you trusting god to get one small room for yourself for the purpose of praise is worth it oh is worth it reserve the forty thousand for shoes and use it to pay for a small room put worship wake up in the night because there is personally me i don't have time to do that dance and praise in the afternoon all kinds of calls distracting in the night oh dear oh dear ask god what i do in the night yes yes sometimes i carry koinonia documents drop it on the ground dance before it and shame the devil i carry my phone put it there I'm not dancing before them i say lord you are great i dance before you people are coming from everywhere rain or no rain publicity or no publicity and god says you are doing this for me i say lord who else will i do it for and you are celebrating him lord you are faithful and you are worshiping him you are sweating like a fool and while you are doing that god is dispatching angels okay make sure you wake that guy to transfer money to his account that hundred thousand i gave you i didn't tell you who to send it to send it to him oh his mother is at home for giving birth to him send an angel there too and my innocent mother is lying down she'll wake up in the morning and say mama where are you say who are you say just come take my praise this our big manism has cheated us beyond imagination this pride that you don't have results and you are still talking you know ah I, how can okay i agree that you can't you think i can dance look at me you think no 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 god i don't have that gift of dancing it's not a competition this is your destiny this is breakthrough if a thief puts a gun and says you should dance won't you do something some of us when we were in the world you know the kind of dance demonic satanic dance that you did for the devil for free that destroyed you you got drunk dancing it a spirit entered you dancing it i'm not saying you should dance all kinds of nonsense dance in the house of god but i'm saying there, there are times you need to learn to sing and dance alone with listen listen most people dance you can turn your dancing time to a nightclub and god will look at you and say you are wasting your time it is the revelation that makes the singing and the dancing profitable don't just move your body around just because you are happy that, that's that's entertainment 
Brothers and sisters, there is the kind of dance that you dance with tears in your eyes. But you are doing it with understanding. Don't think you will only always be laughing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. No job for you. No job for your wife. No job for your five children. They are all graduates. You have prayed, oh, nothing happened. Brothers and sisters, try singing and celebrating God. Everyone in their room rejoicing. Jesus, you are full and you are just dancing. Let me tell you what will happen. The Lord will start bringing testimonies. Remember when a cow would have killed you in 1995 and you say, Lord, I remember how, and you start dancing it. You are, you are compressing doubt because something is about to be created. You would dance and dance till you fall under the anointing there and get up and clean yourself and be tired and sleep and wake up and drag yourself. Brothers and sisters, you have programmed something in the spirit. You will get up in the morning and just dress and say, Father, thank you. And get a phone call. Who is this? I'm seeing a document that has been here four years on my table. Who are you? So I finished for what did you read? Anyway, it's not what you read. Where are you? Come quickly. I like you. Ha! You just know that praise is working. Praise is working. Let the people praise me. Psalm 67, verse 5 to 7. Let the people praise me. It's an instruction. The earth has been programmed to deliver certain results, but let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 6. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our God, shall bless us. You can stop there. Zephaniah. It may be difficult for some of us to find, but just write. Media, please give it to us. Zephaniah chapter 3. Let's read 14 to 20. I hope we can... Just quickly hurry up. Zephaniah. Chapter 3. Zephaniah. Chapter 3 and verse 14. We're reading to verse 20. Listen. It says, Sing, O daughter of Zion. It's not talking about a lady. It's talking about human beings. You must read the Bible prophetically. When it says daughter, find out what it means. There are times in the Bible, all people are sons. There are times all people are daughters. Are we together? So don't think he's talking to ladies. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. We're reading to verse 20. The Lord had taken away thy judgments and has cast out thine enemy, the king of Israel. Even the Lord is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not. And to Zion, let not thine hands be slack. We are reading to verse 20. Give us 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with what? Singing. Singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Verse 19. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out. I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Hmm. At that time, I will bring you again even in the time that I will gather you for I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes say the Lord you read that scripture and say Lord whether you understand it or not I am dancing with this revelation that you are turning something I can see everything hey, hey. Do you see everything? I can see everything. One more time. 
can see everything turning around. Please sit down. When you go back home, continue. 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 Apostle, I don't have a house. Find a tree. Find somewhere. It is a place that will give you a house, my brother. I'm staying with neighbors. I don't want to disturb them. Find somewhere behind one rock. You don't have to shout and disturb the neighborhood. Just engage in praise. Glorify God. You may be tired, but it's called a sacrifice of praise. Brothers and sisters, do this and see how things will turn in your life. There's nothing the devil can do with someone who is full of joy and glory. This gloominess that you see people tie their face around, it doesn't bring breakthrough. It adds to your sorrow. You loosen up and say, Father, you are faithful. You are tying your face around and people say, why are you? Why should I not tie my face? Or will you pay my rent for me? My brother, it's praise that will pay that rent. So you turn everything and rejoice. Let me tell you what many people will say who see you engaging this. <laughs> they say, don't mind all these men of God. They are turning you people to be stupid. You see that? But when you meet them for rent, they won't give you. If you want God's result, follow his methods. Number three, quickly. The third key to activating the mystery of divine intervention is called seed faith. Say after me, seed faith. Listen, I know that giving has been abused. Listen carefully, please. Outside, online, listen carefully. I know that giving has largely been abused because it has looked like some manipulation and journalists and bloggers have not done justice because they have mixed everything and made it look like giving and sacrifice is some gimmicks to corner money and give a man of God. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Something I do all the time, including today. Every time you are in a situation, listen please. Every time you are in a situation that only God can step in with understanding, having prayed, package a seed, speak to that seed and give it an instruction. And sow that seed, release. If you just sow money, it's bribery. It's not the money. Revelation. The Bible is full of the potent power of seed faith. Connecting your faith with a seed and a sacrifice to provoke God's hand for intervention. I've done it countless times on behalf of this ministry. I've done it countless times on behalf of myself, my family, my friends, people I love. Seeds. The seed that is in your hand can create a destiny that will surprise you if you know what to do with it. Please listen to me. Don't think I'm asking you to give me money. No. There are people who when they hear this, they just frown their face. Not at all. Not at all. God has been faithful to me. Are we together? Listen. There are people who have turned their lives around overnight. If there is one thing I know in my little walk with God, is that your seed can bruise the head of the serpent. I promise you. I have seen people quarter to shame. Everything was against them. It was obvious they are finished. And they used their seed and turned the hands of life in a way that you cannot imagine. My life is full of sacrifices. Psalm 126, don't turn there. Verse 1 to 6, you write it. That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said we were like them that dream. The first six verses. The, la the sixth verse ends by saying, they that sow in tears. The whole verses are connected. Verse six is connected to verse one. God turning away the captivity of Zion like a dream. He says that they that sow in tears will reap in joy. He that weepeth bearing precious seeds the bible says shall doubtless return rejoicing bringing in the sheaves it's not every seed to be cheerful does not mean to laugh to be cheerful means that there be a merriment in your heart there are some times you will cry for the seeds you sow hallelujah 
someone came over to my place today and the Lord instructed him to bring me a seed and quite a very serious seed just you know a military officer just came dropped the seed and when I saw it the seed was in dollars I said wow in this recession this seed and the Lord told me no 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 make sure you don't touch it this is your seed for something and the Lord told me I started dancing I said thank you Jesus this is it. when God gives you seed to sow is intervention no? getting the seed to sow is an act of God's mercy that you say Lord I must provoke this but I have no seed then he gives seed to the sower those who know only know how to eat anything plus their destiny they keep getting bread but those who want to create a future brothers and sisters I have created realities in my life with seeds I believe in the power of a seed listen don't let people because of their cynicism the imbalance when a man creates an imbalance in scripture you don't avoid that truth because it has been abused you bring it to context and teach people brothers and sisters a seed can change your life believe me i have done crazy things in my life i thank god that is only god that reveals that that is only god that knows the heart of men there are things if i tell you that i have done with seeds some of you you are not related to me but you will be angry you will remove your shoe and stone me with it and say you are very stupid in this recession seeds there was a year i've shared it again and again that god gave us an instruction we were just resuming koinonia and god gave an instruction he said so everything 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 i don't mean small so everything let it go i said thank you jesus you are ready to lift us that is revelation by faith abel offered you offer by faith you don't offer by by tricks and all kinds of no 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 and we release it brothers and sisters it didn't reach seven days seven days more than ten times that amount seeds i'm not saying you should give carelessly no but brothers and sisters the seed that is in your hands can silence a spirit that has destroyed your destiny for years nobody is moving forward in your family you are just sitting down and god is saying look you have to provoke heavens with a sacrifice one day you get angry and say lord i am tired of this anna did not have money to give but she said lord let's do it give me the child i've given the child already as a seed and god said it's a done deal there was a king in the bible who they wanted to slaughter and defeat it was very clear the nation of israel would defeat them and he carried his son his future and slew the child the bible says an indignation rose up to heaven battle ended when god wanted to redeem man it was an issue of urgency God carried Jesus, the lamb upon the throne, slew him. Jesus cried and God said, that's not the issue. Man must be saved. This greed over the little we have is what has destroyed us. Get used to money leaving you to go and wait for you in your future. Get used to it. You may not have a seed but brothers and sisters let me tell you there are many ways to give money is not the only seed it's just the seed that can easily be exchanged that's why there are times that people have made radical sacrifices do you believe what i'm teaching you principles of divine intervention trace your life at the moment where god gave you specific instructions that you did things that almost brought tears from your eyes and watch what happened you just did not study it enough to know how to keep it going mm. i hardly share my testimonies i stopped because i found out that it annoys a lot of people 
and I'm not ready to attract unnecessary um, you know people once they hear preachers talk there are people who just get angry just like that it's nonsense brothers and sisters learn to sow seeds but the most powerful part of sowing seeds is to give them instructions this is the mistake many of us have been making you package a seed some of you come and join the line apostle here is a seed i'm sowing i always ask people what is this for and the people say for nothing just i just feel like seeing you that's a donation that's a donation brothers and sisters all seeds are not the same there is a seed you give to the poor there is something it does to you there is a seed that you give to widows and orphans there is a kind of result there is a seed you put on the ground because you are tired of where you are if the word of god were a lie i would have died since because the risk i've taken with this word it would have killed me since but i believe him i believe him when i saw that seed today i was happy the joy that filled my heart i await the testimony that comes from it wanting a harvest that you have not scheduled through sowing is a waste of time is imagine now somebody who didn't go to the farm he has a land somewhere he just carries his wife and his children and carries a truck and he just goes to an empty place you will find wheat there but whoever sow january february down to april is smiling right now because he knows it's harvest time brothers and sisters i pray for us may god kill greed from our life this attachment to money listen this many people think wealthy people are the ones who are attached to money it's a lie wealthy people in the kingdom have become wealthy because they have conquered it your seed is an instrument that creates your future hallelujah learn to release seeds learn to release seeds learn to release seeds i'll never forget a gentleman who sent me a text he sowed a seed i remember it was when he sent me the text truly speaking i remember they sowed seeds and i was opening the envelopes most times it takes it honestly a while maybe some days before i even open the envelope to see what is there and pray on it and i opened the envelope and i saw five naira and a letter the guy said this five naira was his isaac i know you will laugh and say hey, hey, hey this stupid boy no i respected that because that that thing i knew will create a harvest and the guy i opened it and wrote some things like that and then i just felt led to pray for him do you know it didn't reach two weeks the guy sent me a text and said i have never in my life seen favor like this five naira it's not about the money it's about the heart somebody was tired of where how many jobless people have not shown anything and they keep moving around with cv what must tell you the devil is fighting you you carry a seed and say god please i'm married with three children no job this mockery must end i drop this and tie it to my job and then praise around that seed praise around the seed and your brothers and sisters say so this is what they are teaching you this is how these stupid men of god keep eating your money and all of a sudden the heaven opens breakthrough upon breakthrough you are praying to buy land oh lord please give me two million naira to buy land i now have 150 000. just top it up for me and god says you mustn't buy it just learn let me show you and all of a sudden someone stands up and blesses you i think it was you Jimmy. i was showing you was it yesterday i was showing him the documents of a property that was given to me recently i said god what is this what is this for as long as you sow whether you like it or not the law is that you must reap so if you have not sown anything stop stop saying god where is my harvest and he said what what are you saying a woman who does not take in is she expecting a child no sir no sir she do seasons of breakthrough in your life your seed is a weapon not just your prayer your seed is a weapon your seed is a weapon 
One mama called me one time. I was led by God. Honestly, I felt so, I didn't know how to talk to her because she sounded like an elderly woman and she was praying for divine financial intervention. I said, mama, please, I want you to sow a seed. Not to me. I, I, I would never have the effrontery to tell that woman to sow into my life. I'm sure that woman will be older than my mother. I said, please try, connect with a seed. And the woman said, she doesn't have anything. I said, it's not true, mama. There is something you have. What do you do? She said, she farms yam. I say carry four or five tubers of yam. Find any church. I said, which church is close around your area? She said, there's living faith. I said, go there. Find four tubers of yam. Tie it and be praying, singing any song in your language you know while you march to the pastor's, um, uh, what do you call it? The pastor's office. Whether the pastor is eating the yam or not is not his business. Only a stupid man of God resents the seed of a desperate believer. It's not whether you are more than 50% of the things people sow into my life, I don't need it. It's not for me. I recognize what it is. Is God speaking to someone? Seed faith. Learn to connect. Learn to connect. Learn to connect. Learn to connect. One day, I, I can't remember where I was driving to. Sometimes I just drive in the night alone. And sometimes I just move. And then I parked somewhere around that market side. And I was looking at someone. Just passing. And the Lord was telling me something about that guy. And the Lord was telling me, that guy going. I just saw the guy just moving. And he said, that guy, the devil has rubbished that guy. True story. And that in this guy's destiny, he was supposed to be the first preacher in his entire lineage. And I saw the boy moving with all these this rough and scattered boys around. And I was just looking. I said, my God. If your life does not have a message that gives God glory, you will beg Satan to come. He will run. Satan, a demon goes to a wilderness and because there's nothing in that wilderness that has God's assignment, the demon casts itself out of the wilderness back to a human being that God can use. Remember Jesus said when a spirit leaves a man, it goes to a wilderness. He didn't find anything in that wilderness that is pro god and he left it back said i want the man because god can still use him i can tell you why satan is threatened by everything around you your worship does something to him your commitment does something to him when satan comes and sees our little children hearing the word of the lord he says what can i do to this family to stop them from coming for koinonia and the easiest way is can i cripple their finances because if there is no money there's no food to eat there's no transport and if there's no transport there will be argument between daddy and mommy you see that wise plan all of a sudden you find out that something that would have worked does not work again and he steps back and allows you to blame yourself and while the children are suffering he said, sorry, it's time for koinonia. He said, koinonia what? And the devil said, that's it. Mission accomplished. It was never about money. That's why a lot of people say, why is it that unbelievers who don't love God, they are getting rich? What in their life threatens Satan? It's not about, I mean, look, if you think it's about money and tea and bread and cars, no, sir. Satan was willing to give it to Jesus. He said, Jesus, why go the long route just bow to me i will give you this meaning if satan if jesus bowed to satan all of a sudden even caesar will be dethroned and jesus could go and sit down and satan doesn't mind provided you are my boy enjoy everything you never the devil will never allow you to hold the hands of God and hold the hands of the blessing he will say choose one hold the blessing and leave God or hold God and leave the blessing the miracle service says you can hold both that's why we're here tonight yes sir that you can say I can still serve God and pay my siblings school fees because of the blessing of the Lord 
I can still serve God and I don't need to go and collect any charm yet I will prophesy to nonsense and cast out any demon you see that listen you are here tonight I'm announcing to you very straight up what we are here for we are not here to waste our time we are here to stand in agreement with God I have seen how people in ignorance allow the devil to make nonsense out of their lives choose between raising a godly family or not getting married choose between being a very wealthy man or a pastor hello choose between being the first graduate from your village or being a popular musician anything that you can use to give god glory is what satan is looking for he will find you he will haunt you and if you do not understand the systems of the kingdom he will make sure that he makes nonsense out of your life and listen the moment he sees that your health and vitality and energy has been committed unto god he will now find a particular disease and program it across your lineage not you if you have headache that means it may just be that you need you just need some time to rest satan is too wicked to just give you a headache satan wants to program something you heard that dear lady cancer in um the grandmother just like faith can be transferred so you program it in a way that a young lady is just 35 36 and all of a sudden she's feeling what is this ah mama died of cancer now i'm having cancer tomorrow another person has cancer those people don't need healing they need deliverance it looks like it's healing ask jesus woman thou art loose first when you are loose then he laid hands on her he said now you, your body can participate but the real thing is the bondage in the spirit are we together now yes anything you see in your family that is not only you that is suffering you need to stand for them today oh. if you are the only one having it it may just be your not understanding your this and that but provided you are not the only one no your grandmother was raped by a stupid man your mother was raped by a stupid man you you were raped by a stupid man must you wait until your daughter is raped you stand up and say in the name of jesus someone paid your grandmother's dowry and ran away they paid your mother's dowry and ran away now somebody is wanting to pay your dowry and, and run away you stand and say lord this must end look let me tell you nothing changes until men get angry enough to say lord it must stop are we together yes it must stop how about finances look at me there are some of you here i don't mean to insult you and i don't mean to embarrass you but let me tell you the truth until god does something to your hand money will never stay in your hand i'm not talking about money you can be as intelligent as whatever i'm telling you it takes more than a good transaction to keep this thing because money like a human being has a spirit a soul and a body the spirit of money is mammon or the holy spirit there has to be a controlling factor the soul of money is the 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 intellectual system that brings the exchange the body of money is the physical thing you are holding so if all you are holding is just the physical thing you are a joker there is a spirit that can call what is in your hand and it will leave you it's true So the devil sees that this family wants to call upon the name of the Lord and make sure that everybody remains poor. Can I tell you this? And I don't mean to insult you, but more than 60% of the people seated here, your major prayer point, corporately as a family, is, oh God, let your heavens be open so that your supplies can come. There may be other things, but you will prefer supplies a thousand times than your leg that is paining you to be to be fine 
there is an agenda I've shared with you my vision I will continue to share it years ago I was praying I think I was uh, I can't remember what was happening and then my my ceiling just disappeared I didn't see a building again and the next thing I looked and I saw a giant creature mighty creature the eyes as big as the head of a man and then it was it looked like a dinosaur but the tail had its own life meaning you could disconnect the tail from the body and it would still be in existence and it was just fuming with red eyes looking at me and saying so you think you can bring God's people into abundance that was the end that was when I agreed that prosperity is spiritual if all you have is a contract you are joking if all you have is a shop well done but you are in trouble if all you have is a good business you heard the testimony of this dear um, wonderful man that came from Koza that just shared here now estates and everything just given no it's not just a man that gave him there is a spirit behind it you need to be empowered to fail I hope you know that when you are failing consistently there is an anointing making that happen an anointing is simply an empowerment everybody hates you you are supposed to bless me as soon as I come you hate me I now go here and I'm too late it's not normal when the coincidences are too accurate there is a spirit making it happen someone calls you and says, please come let me give you something to pay the rent of your family the moment that statement happens the devil makes sure that the man receives a call that is an emergency call are you seeing that now and he leaves the office you arrive the office you find out the door is locked he says if the young man comes just give him two thousand to go back it's a lie the man did not leave something happened there is a spirit behind that operation how many of you have gone to to seek people over something that is so simple maybe just a signature and it will take two weeks three weeks you believe it's normal and then sometimes a man of god may pray for you and speak and you go back and the person who should not be there in the afternoon is now there he was not there an angel kept him there this is how this kingdom operates your destiny helper the destiny helper of your family can be two blocks away from you but because there is no spiritual connection my brother and my sister you can stay 15 years whereas the person ordained by God to lift you is just two blocks you will go to America and return back like a thief you will go to UK and return back like somebody that God hates but the day God decides to locate you you will be surprised is God speaking to us that's why we're here tonight you can be a man of God and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body probably God has been telling you look your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy but you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years I will come for koinonia you will now say next week you will say Kai uh, ah I'm feeling cold let me just relax as soon as you want to travel your sister will just say ah, I just came on break let me tell you all those acting is a lie but there's something about the will of man the day you stamp your feet and say today I name today as my day of breakthrough the Bible said today if you hear his voice every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again it has to be today are we together so tonight I don't want you to sit down and waste your time you are hearing people testify my brothers and my sisters I tell you by the grace of God there is enough grace and power to turn your life to bring any it's not very difficult no it's just your connection stop the arguments the war that is happening in your head can God do this you can't leave Lagos leave the east leave the north 
and come and sit down you are wondering you believe that god brought you to waste your time no sir no sir i tell you in a moment in a twinkling of an eye oh can can the hepatitis go can this go we're talking god here we're not talking the the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital the god of heaven can that yoke go we are nine people in our family apostle nobody has a job it's not about the job the devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children those nine people the money from those nine people who empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say i've tried ah but there's a song that says satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> We make our boast in the lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of october we'll let we'll let the devil know what is in nigeria he has tasted what is in america what is in russia what is in this and then you see your life change a miracle is a wonder that that the limit oh, hold his hands try to stop him two of you you know that game they used to play now like you try oh yeah do it now yeah don't no, no don't draw him too much sorry you are not very kind now watch this are you seeing that now this guy can be growing old every year you are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise let me tell you my assignment this is me now coming into this equation my my assignment is not to cut what is there my assignment is to carry this like this this one because you see i can cut what is there and pass you can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go he's going to hold you and say come back apostle has gone so the, the job has not been done my assignment by the grace of god is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way one, that's number one that's not all then my assignment is to turn you to the direction that's where prophecy is powerful and then turn what would have come to you from that delay if i leave you like this you are not oppressed but you are you still don't have breakthrough you are free from oppression but you have not entered your inheritance so you can't testify but whatever that is when it comes to you and you go to it and then i leave you my job is to and and the thing is that all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance and then by next week you are coming with an employment letter and you're on your knees saying god what is this what is this then two weeks later five people all barring in your family are saying ah I, I i think i'm pregnant then you just remember ah what has happened a man of god that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people 15 during a convention they grow to 30 by the time service is finishing there's 20 back and all of a sudden something happens and one spectacular miracle happens by the next sunday in a way that even the critics say i'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said i never believed i would buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing god brought you here to change your life listen to me i repeat god brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service 
a miracle service is not a teaching service i will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument i can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and i can argue because i'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and i see it this is the end of the argument it will be stupid to still argue at that point you will let everybody know you are a madman this is the result could it be that you have been talking too much let the anointing talk I, I will i will build the house i know god is faithful i will do this and god is saying no moses only spoke small and then the rod kept talking you have been talking forever some of you you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that god will give you you stood before the red sea for forever it refused to part but god brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says and they glorified god in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you're a man of god i used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you god takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what i said god does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like julius berger will build a house and put b god will do it and put his signature they'll say no this business cannot be human i hear testimonies of people every time the things that god does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no oh. Don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time. Whether you are outside overflow, one overflow, two overflow, three online, whatever nation you are following, just listen. I believe him. I may not claim I know everything about him, but this God, when God decides to stand up from his throne, he said, now arise from your throne. God can stand up. Have you heard that the earth is his footstool? so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my god is mighty our own belief many times is the reason why god does not move we come and sit down and pile up some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful but you are there wondering can you move oh god concerning my money can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly and says, if God could move, did the man of God pray for you in, by March? Didn't your pastor fast seven days for you? And you say, it's true. Oh, that's the devil. Tonight, your faith must be open. 
your faith must rise to the heavens to say lord i don't want to leave this place just knowing i'm blessed i want to know what happened to me i want to hold a substance god is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and say ah were you blessed oh my god miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that i left this place what happened the pain is gone i left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of god touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you're saying my god i've gotten this elisha knew when he got it elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the lord god of elijah and the river parted you are trusting god for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god thank god for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint lord i left lagos this morning and i came here i left bielsa and i came here my car almost had an accident lord i would have been in a convention now as a man of god i left it to be here i'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom i tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade, there were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore, whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba. I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No when it came i knew that i got it i knew that i got it listen my brothers and my sisters you can know that the load has been lifted you can know that the prayer has been answered you can know that the project is a done deal are we together the grace is here more than available for you and whilst we begin to pray don't just watch others receive be sensitive you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute i'd like you to open your mouth and cry mention specifically why are you here talk to the lord please pray please pray pray with all your heart Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump lord i'm tired of this medical report i'm tired of watching my mother cry my father cry 
I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch a second touch over my family my loved ones are not born again Lord I can't watch them go to hell like this Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burdens. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the spirit of the Lord we're reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. 
to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says the desolations of many generations i like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now just like a train just passed like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we are going to pray now and like i always say you'll find out when i pray you're going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much i want to pray once i pray that prayer listen please i don't want you to get listen please hold on i don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come be open for when god will visit and locate you that, that's that's what you're here for so i want to pray that prayer now jesus <laughs> i'm seeing a lot of those people at overflow one a lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer I know overflow one the overflow outside you see let me tell you this when a man listen when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right please help those in overflow one my god i'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside now listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but when will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the Spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is I'm ready to shift you that within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen 
in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now Shabalakata. jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed Kabarakatosha. speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there Shakatoka tabarakata. please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please i'm praying For some of you now, it's the same prayer, but it's no longer just for you. You may not be experiencing it, but your family needs speed. The anointing now is moving from individuals to families. Lord, where are the families that need the shift of the Holy Ghost? I decree and declare right now, I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Families be shifted now. Speed, speed, speed speed kaparakoto shegeta epre kete 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 i decree it i declare it i decree it and i declare it shapakato katabala katosh no more delay I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit 
take away delay from your life right now in the name of Jesus now all those in front I'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three I speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 I lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive I want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but I want to pray a dangerous prayer I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names I declare every spirit that has caged any family here I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and at the count of three everyone shout Jesus as you shout Jesus I see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now one two three in the name of Jesus I crush Satan I crush his works inside outside I command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them. Lose them. Lose them. Lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, 
Lose them in the name of Jesus. Lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Now listen. Overflow one, listen to me. Listen, you don't have to touch me. Please, you don't have to touch me. But in the name of Jesus, hear me. The Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone. As soon as I pass here, I don't have to come close to you. You are going to feel fire all, all over. That fire, that will be the end of it. You must testify. Right now, I stretch my hands. Right, right now. It's over, over now. Shakos kata adika. Egeto sata rikata. Embregeto sheketa. Akato shekriaka. Manta brekotos. Let them go, let them go. Let them go, let them go. Let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire, by fire, by fire. It leaves you now. Those of you here, I want you to lift your hands. Overflow two overflow to lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow too please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now i command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them i break that power now 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 be broken hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i didn't know we have an extra overflow here i want to pray for those by the side here as i stretch my hands to you please don't waste your time i'm seeing fire already here in the name of jesus at the count of three those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the holy ghost i release you please help them so they don't injure themselves i declare i decree and i declare you are free praise the lord overflow three your life is about to change listen listen honestly there is there is an anger in my spirit because as i entered i'm just seeing chains everywhere right now in the name of jesus at the count of three bring all of them out from the front to the back right now at the count of three overflow three all of you shout jesus one two three Every power, bring them out. Maka poska baka tosh. Ekreke teke teka pakata. Shepra katosa. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. Alapaka tosh. Kete 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 kete. Shaka teke te. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains. Be broken now. 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 Change. Be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three. Lift your hands. I'll see praying. Listen. 
I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone, happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in overflow three. Shaprakato shekete skaba, embrakato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Embrakete kete keto shabarukatos. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow three. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you. You will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream. Someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three. Shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata brekatish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you, I speak as one send. At the count of three, let them go. One, two, three, go, 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 let them go. Lose your hold over their lives. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. I'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet, but the Lord is showing me the number 12 and the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shagatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shaprakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium. And I stretch my hands from here. It doesn't matter what overflow. You just be sensitive to what God is doing. Main auditorium. I'm seeing eight people. Eight people in the main auditorium. At the count of three. Right now in the name of Jesus. Fire will come upon your hands. I'm prophesying to the main auditorium. But everybody can receive. 
I decree and declare that healing anointing. One, two, three. Let that anointing come now. Let it come now. Fresh fire. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm seeing. Oh my God. The Lord is opening my eyes here. I'm I'm seeing someone. Don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed. Your father, I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest. This is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of jesus i'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three 
i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the holy ghost i release you my dear hold my hands to you i'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the lord is going to do in your life i decree and i declare it over your life i stand by the anointing and i pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste our time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do i'm going to pray for you you are not from this place you came for nyc i want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment to end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now, I decree. Overflow two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name 
who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around um where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it oleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from benway state you are from benway state this is what has tied down your life and your family i want to pray for you i'm not a herbalist eh? father in the name of jesus let this gentleman be free right now i command that devil to leave you now just keep him there in the name of jesus these two people this gentleman you yes and the lady by you come quickly please low 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory what do you do my friend you are a student you love jesus i want to pray for you huh? yes, are you together yes sir because i saw light on you. husband and wife yes please, sir. well i'm not going to discuss your issue now but two of you need deliverance eh? you love jesus but you need serious deliverance based on what i'm seeing now huh you are not husband and wife yet but i'm seeing a lot of stories father in the name of jesus look at me you're going to be very wealthy but the first thing you need to edit are your friends huh hear what i'm telling you huh my, uh, my sister you know what i'm saying right huh so your friends huh confirm sir listen to me you are not truly born again if your friends don't change hear it from me all this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends if if i am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together i'm close to a drunkard that means i can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by is that true so my friend you love god eh? but you see um look at what i'm doing one leg in one leg out huh don't be embarrassed when i make the altar call you need to run and come quickly jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 no. Let, let's take god serious and take him look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail god may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy god's purpose over your life i pray for everyone here that in the name of jesus if you are under the yoke of wrong friends i stand and i speak right now may the lord set you free this night in the name of jesus christ my dear there is favor on your life but it's not speaking at all hmm? you are a nice lady come i'm looking at you i'm seeing a young lady but i'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch 
so god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my dear, you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man if you're in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah halushia kaprahasku de bakatuskia i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus i command this devil i'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear i set you free and i open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands i'm seeing i've not seen this in a long time i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing an anointing going to benway state benway state now benway state you are from benway state you see that that power will touch you even if you don't know what state you are from benway state lord where is in the name of jesus the power of god is bringing deliverance benway state in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names in the name of jesus madam i'm going to pray for you two things i'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of jesus hold my hands i decree and declare be free now by the power of the holy spirit madam i don't know you but ah you please come Hi. this is your first time coming I need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma huh i'm looking at you and i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed i hope i'm not embarrassing you i want to pray for you i give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and i declare i'm seeing chains leaving you i command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i open that closed door now i open that closed door now by the power of the holy ghost Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough. Here and here, here and here, right now. Here and here. I command right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now. I uproot it now. I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. 
in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest? I served, my father served and died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives even the lawful captives my brothers and my sisters you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service this this woman come madam you yes come please quickly come we're out of time say in jesus name say it in jesus name my life is about to change say it again say in jesus name reproach is leaving me now in the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man, but I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you, your dad, your father is a priest currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now. Everything they have given you to drink and eat, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I set you free now. Be gone. Now! Out! Let it leave her. I'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life. But in the name of Jesus. Hi. Jesus' power is really superpower. Really superpower. That in one moment, something that has been done in a lifetime can live. Out! Now! Everything that is not of God. Her father is a priest, though, not her uncle. Direct father. Imagine how many times... She has been involved in all of these things. But in Jesus' name, you are set free. This, this man too, why is he here? Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. You are receiving the healing anointing now. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing. Your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this this because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him. Your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. Okay? We have we've not even prayed for the sequel. My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. <laughs> Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No, we came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God, but at the same time, I do business. But it's not sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. 
in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands that anointing you will start having dreams receive that grace two of you need empowerment ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come Oh, 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 I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head. And if I don't pray for you, this load is going to destroy you. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? Are you new here? By Elsa. By Elsa. Hmm. All the way. I think we should appreciate them. What do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate. Evangelist. But both of you came from yes, Bielsa. Came together. You're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Baisa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Baelsa. Do you know what happened? I was hmm. Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you because what i see god do through your life i'm seeing god giving you two things the grace for leadership number one number two the grace for finances these two graces god is giving it to you i don't know you sir i'm seeing you for the first time ma you are an evangelist i'm going to pray for you what do you do you hold crusades and all of that no i i usually have meetings every month and then i speak on radio i have a live radio i do my evangelical on radio and then oh you do a live radio yes live radio talk show three things one barrenness two poverty three witchcraft you are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back don't forget huh the same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelism I hold my hands father this is a dear woman of God all the way from Bielsa I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and I declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and I pray madam the Lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the Lord is saying I should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. 
in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now madam my God will honor you ah in the name of Jesus supernatural grace drink of that wine sir I'll pray for you the grace for leadership the grace for finance but I'm ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do what else do you do I manufacture paint you manufacture paint that's right sir what am I seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the Lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of Jesus I pray for this man of God I stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same I stretch my hands I take away every limitation from your life and I decree and I declare your life turns around from today in the name of Jesus give Jesus praise goodness 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 can we still pray for the sick we can't close this without praying for the sick In the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus, go now. In the name of Jesus, you go and write your test, bring back your results. Go. Listen, I, can we? Time is gone. Oh dear. You see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal maybe i'll just pray i'll just pray for the sick from here we'll do it that way right but make no mistakes just that you that you are not coming out doesn't mean i want to pray for you now we'll take a few testimonies now in the last three or four months i have seen i don't know why this happens but i have seen a dimension of the healing power of god very creative miracles so i want to pray you are trusting god for a miracle lay your hand right now on your body quickly i want to pray for you now please believe god for a miracle now this is what will happen overflow one two three the roadside and then those following us online our time is gone but as soon as I pray for you now, I pray for you, the power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies, but since we have chosen this method now, as soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request? Let me see. Did you bring your prayer request? Okay, ushers, this is what you, I want you to do. PR department, help them. Protocol, please help them. While I'm praying for the sick, I think we can do it too. Your prayer request. Please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers. Just lift it. The ushers have a system of collecting it. You don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ 
I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of Jesus now I command every blood condition be healed from it now in Jesus name peptic ulcer the Lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps I command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the Holy Ghost eye conditions in the name of Jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones I decree and declare let the power of God touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands be healed right now in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of Jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether I mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you I stretch my hands and I declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before I started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly God bless you check yourself quickly Koinonia are you celebrating Jesus the Lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at God touching people already please make your way make your way the power of God has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies God bless you Koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, you... just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people. 
and I want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of Jesus hold my hands um, I'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the Holy Ghost, gone completely. In Jesus' name, I declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in Jesus' name. Give Jesus praise. Deafness in the left ear since 2012. Since 2012. Oh, come on, Koinonia. How long, my friend? A man of God told me about it in 2012 and I prayed, but I was hearing those B sounds. And I don't hear really. Which of them? The left ear. Put your hand there now. In the name of Jesus, it never, never returns to you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, yes. Ulcer, you mentioned ulcer. ulcer. How long? Yes. Okay. Where are you from? Kaduna, sir. Kaduna State. Yes, sir. That's where you are from. Yes, Your state of origin. Not biologically. Biologically, where are you from? I'm from each Petal Court. I mean, Anam Brown State. There's a reason why I said this. There's a lot you don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you. Eh? Father, help this gentleman. Because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now. And I declare be free. In Jesus' name. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, God but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the, the lower back pain affected her left leg also this pain in check her it back. now check it check it any pain yes, it's gone completely give the jesus last three praise. years <laughs> in the name of jesus christ it never returns to you again please make sure that we have the request if you are still yet if you are still with your wave it just wave it and an usher will come look at that man and you are sitting quietly there you wave it and let them know pain at the back completely healed pain at the back you fell under the anointing i ah, see you looking in the name of Jesus, it's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. 
so you bring the person the name of Jesus perfection for you right now in Jesus name she's had serious um, back pain that back she pain had to start horse riding so that you can correct but today they asked you to ride a gone. horse yes who said you should ride a horse the doctor or just advisors <laughs> don't, don't she's shy <laughs> the horse this is the man it's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you're wondering where am i going to Hi. the anointing amazing let me just talk to them and then don't worry do your horse thing eh i'm just happy that you are healed so you can go and ride your horse now for fun in the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected in Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to, eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 and she's had severe menstrual pain yes and she came here with the pain today but the don't pain believe is that thing oh in the name of jesus i cancel it forever amen. say amen by the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life. Yes. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Feel, press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slump like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil would just wait until you are crossing a bridge then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain sir now. yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind 
other times only the right one go blind, but now he's totally healed. He can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come. In the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.